Authorities search a Boston area apartment overnight, the home of a 20 year old Saudi man who was injured in the blast. Police say the man who is in the U.S. on a student visa is not a suspect. The hunt for answers continues. This amateur video captured the second blast of the attack that killed three people and injured at least 176. Included in the dead, eight-year-old Martin Richard. A day later, security at Boston's Logan Airport is high. Two passengers were removed from one outbound flight while another plane was inspected on the tarmac because of concerns about a suspicious bag, which was later deemed harmless. Similar caution at New York's LaGuardia Airport after a suspicious package near one of the entrances prompted authorities to clear the area. All part of heightened tension after what President Barack Obama is calling a terror attack. Anytime bombs are used to target innocent civilians, it is an act of terror. What we don't yet know, however, is who carried out this attack or why, whether it was planned and executed by a terrorist organization, foreign or domestic, or was the act of a malevolent individual. The search, according to the FBI, will not be limited to the Boston area.